Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss the relationship of sociology with other social sciences. Before discussing the relationship of sociology with other social sciences, let's see that how sociology is defined. So it has a broader scope seeking to understand the social behavior of individuals, groups, and societies. It incorporates the insights from all of the social sciences, linking individual experiences, both at micro level interactions to the large structures of historical forces at macro level. Using different and sometimes contested frameworks. For instance, how individual educational attainment in Pakistan is linked to the societal structures like class and ethnicity. So let us now discuss the scope of and the relationship of these, this particular discipline of sociology with the other social sciences. Anthropology traditionally focuses on understanding the human societies through the lens of culture with a strong emphasis on fieldwork and eth ethnographic studies typically in the non-Western societies. So it differs from sociology in that it often focuses on small, less complex societies as opposed to the large scale structures. However, both disciplines interrelate as they share an interest in human behavior and culture. So anthropology basically focuses on simple and non-Western, rather traditional societies, whereas the sociology does not limit itself merely to the historical traditional societies. It also discusses and it also endeavors to interpret the modern and even postmodern societies. So sociologists often draw on anthropological findings to inform their understanding of cultural norms and practices in these complex societies. If we talk about the political science, this is devoted to studying the government systems, political behavior, and political processes. So unlike sociology, its focus is narrower, largely concerned with the power relationships and decision making within the specific political context. Nonetheless, the political science and sociology intersect in areas like political sociology, where the influence of societal factors on political behavior is analyzed. For example, the role of caste in India or in Indian politics or the influence of the ethnic deviants on the politics of Pakistan. The economics. Economics concentrates on the understanding of the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. It is distinct from sociology due to its focus on market behavior and economic principles. However, both the disciplines converge in the study of the economic sociology, exploring how social norms networks and institutions shape the economic behavior. The impact of economic factors on social inequality is a common area of study here, such as how neoliberal policies have exacerbated the wealth gaps globally. Then we have the history primarily aims to understand the past events and periods. It differs from sociology in its methods of inquiry and focus on the past. But the two disciplines are interconnected in that sociologists often use the historical data to understand the societal changes and to trace the origins of current social issues as seen in the study of historical materialism in understanding the transition from feudal society towards the capitalistic society. Geography is concerned with the understanding of the physical characteristics of the earth and its various regions 
as well as how human societies interact with their environment. Its scope is different from sociology with a stronger focus on spatial relationships. It's more about the spread of the relationship across different geographies. However, the two disciplines intersect in the area like urban sociology and environmental sociology, where the spatial distribution of social phenomena and the societal response to environmental issues are analyzed. Then we have psychology, which is dedicated to studying the individual behavior and mental processes. It distinguishes itself from sociology by focusing on the individuals rather than the societal level. Still, the two fields interrelate in social psychology, examining how individual behavior and thought processes are influenced by the societal and group level factors. So, in a nutshell, sociology helps us to understand the complex social systems that shape our lives, including families, communities, and social institutions, such as schools, hospitals, prisons. Understanding the relationship between sociology and other social sciences can help the students to develop a more holistic understanding of social phenomena and to see how different disciplines can contribute to our understanding of different complex social issues.